Hey everyone, Mr. Macintosh here. In today's how-to video, I'm gonna go over a brand new iOS 14 and macOS Big Sur feature called AirPod and AirPod Pro Automatic Device Switching. It's a really neat option that allows you to switch your AirPods automatically between iPhone and other devices. I'm gonna go over which devices will work with this new feature. I'm gonna talk about OS requirements. Then I'm gonna jump into a live demo of setup and using the features. And at the very end of the video, I'm gonna show you some troubleshooting tips that you might need to do if you're having trouble. Let's get started. Automatic device switching supports five different models. AirPods Pro, AirPods second generation, PowerBeats, PowerBeats Pro, and Solo Pro. So if you have one of those, you'll definitely work. Unfortunately, it does not support AirPods generation one. So let's talk about the operating system compatibility. If you want to be able to use this feature, you cannot use it on iOS 13 and you cannot use it on macOS Catalina or Blow. You have to be on iOS 14 and macOS Big Sur or later. The next requirement that you have to do is you got to make sure that you're signed into all the devices that you want to use with device switching with your Apple ID. So you can't use it while you're signed out. That's the one thing that you're going to have to remember. So if you want to use it with your iPad, your iPhone, and your Mac, you have to make sure you're signed in with your Apple ID on those devices. Let's jump into a quick demo. I'm going to show you how to get this all set up and then I'm going to show you how to actually use some of these great new features. Now let's go over how to set up your new AirPods or AirPods Pro with your iOS 14 iPhone or your Mac OS Big Sur Mac. So let's just get started on the phone first. We'll open it up and we'll go into the settings and then we'll go into Bluetooth and we'll wait here. And then we'll get our AirPods. We'll open up the top and it should be ready to start pairing right away. If you get an orange light, all you need to do is hold down the, the pairing button or it should automatically uh, give you a setup assistant here to walk you through getting them connected. All you need to do is click connect and it's saying hold the button. So we'll hold down the button. You can see it's flashing. Now we're ready to get it set up. It's asking if you want to set up, hey Siri, we don't, we don't want to do that now, but you can. And it's also going to ask us if we want to do announce messages. I'm going to just click don't now. And that's it. We're connected. We'll hit done. And you can see that they're connected in there. And that's it. So now what we want to do is we want to set them up on the Mac. To do it on the Mac, we need to go into the system preferences and then click on Bluetooth. And we'll zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit better here. We'll open it up again. You can see it's orange, but what we can do is hold down the button in the back again until it starts going uh, pulsating white. And there it is, a connect button. So all we need to do is hit connect, connected. That's it. And ask us again if we want to set up Hey Siri. Well, it will not do that. And there we go. We're now that we got that set up, let's go over a quick demo. Let's say you're playing music on your iPhone here and you can see that it says connected to the AirPods and we can just open it up and I'll show you the, in the music app, we're ready to go, we'll click play and it's playing on my AirPods right now. But let's say you wanna move it over to the Mac. Let's uh, set this down over here and let's maybe open up when music. And we've got a song queued up in here. All we need to do is hit play and it automatically switches over. You get two notifications. You get this that says it moved to the Mac and you get a notification over here that says it is connected to the Mac. But let's do that again. We can actually move it right back to the iPhone by clicking the, the reverse button and now it's connected back to the iPhone. So I wanna zoom in here so we can catch that message again here. That will hit play and we'll get the message that says Mr. Macintosh AirPods was connected. That's it. Another new cool feature of Mac OS Big Sur is the new menu bar icon for AirPods and AirPods Pro. As you can see here, I've got my AirPods connected to my Mac, so I've got a new icon to show me that they're connected. Now let's click on it and see what we've got. We actually have a volume bar now we can move up and down, and we actually also can change in the output for what we want the sound to come out from. And I can actually show you an another new cool tip is if you hold down, if you click away here and we hold down the option key, we can get an alternate menu that now shows us the input and output. How cool is that? 
Another new cool feature of Mac OS Big Sur is the, a new way to connect your AirPods and AirPods Pro to your Mac. I'll zoom in on this notification so you guys can see this a little bit better. And all you need to do is click, hover over it and click connect. And it automatically connects your AirPods to your Mac before you had to go up to this, the speaker icon and actually click your AirPods and connect them if they weren't automatically connected before. And that usually, this new pop-up usually happens if you're connected to your iPhone, for example, playing something else, that's when that normally comes up. But normally in the past, it would automatically connect. So that's a really new, cool feature of Mac OS Big Sur. Let's talk about some troubleshooting. It took a little bit of time to fully get this set up and actually working properly. It was kind of bumpy when we when I first got it kind of going, but once it was going, it kind of worked pretty good. But there were some glitches here and there, and as Apple comes out with more releases of Big Sur, it'll probably be a lot more refined. So let's talk about some of the problems. Uh, let's open up our iPhone again, and we can automatically see that we are connected again. But if we're playing here, sometimes the switches uh, don't work properly. So We'll try it real quick to see if we can get it to happen here. So we'll open up music app here and we'll try to hit play and it is working great. So let's actually switch right back. We'll click this reverse button here and we'll switch right back and everything is working great. But what where the problems can come in, and again, these are native music apps on both, both platforms. The problems can come in is if we start using, for example, a browser to do uh, some sort of a sound. So let's, let's go to YouTube. and we'll play this video here. And it does say we're connected. Um, we'll go back here and we'll click play and it is moving properly, but it, as you can see, it's not actually connected. It would actually say, and it's, you can see that it's counting up, but I'm not hearing anything. And so it's, sometimes it takes a couple seconds. So now it says it connected, but it stopped. So that's kind of like a little glitch. So let's try to click it again. And it does, now you can see that it's connected and we're playing. So that's kind of one of the things that I was talking about. So let's actually try to get back to here. So the, they're connected here. Let's try to go back to this and finish this ad here. And we're connected here again. So that's good. We'll hit pause on this. Now we'll switch it back here and I'll see if we can show you another problem. So we'll click here, we'll hit play. It's connected, it switched over, but look, it went back. So, so and it stopped. And that's the other glitch that I was talking about. So we'll push, click play again, but then it moves. It says it moved to the iPhone, but I'm not hearing anything again. So we'll hit pause again. Well, now it's now it's working. Again, that's the second kind of glitch that I'm talking about where it, it kind of switches back and forth and then you'll have to hit play again um, before it'll go again. So we'll hit pause, we'll actually, we'll, we'll go back to the Mac and we'll see if we can click play without without doing anything. So we'll hit play here and, and that it didn't work. Now I'm gonna show you why. So we'll hit pause and what we need to do is we need to refresh the screen or the YouTube video and then it should switch over and now I'm hearing it. So. That's another glitch. So that's three separate glitches that we're having here uh, when we're trying to do this. Um, again, I know Apple, as the releases will come out, it will get better. And you can see it kind of switch back here a little bit. We'll see if it actually can play. And it is, see, when it, you can see that live when it's happening. We'll hit play again. It goes back and it's like, what the heck's going on here? So you could almost call that a fourth glitch. So we'll hit, we'll hit play again. And now it's playing. It shouldn't do that. But now we're actually, we're connected. We're almost like we're locked into the iPhone and it's playing. So um, the other glitch I wanted to talk about was when I first got it set up, the, the, the switches weren't working at all. So the fifth glitch was you fully have it set up on both and it's still not working like you play and it doesn't switch over at all. Like you don't see the notifications. Reboot both your phone and the Mac. That worked and you shouldn't have to do that either. But again, that was something that I had to do before I actually even had, before I could actually see the notifications on both of the phone and the Mac to be able to get them to switch back and forth. So that's it, five different glitches of the new automatic device switching. Again, when it's working, 
it works pretty good. But I hope I gave you a couple workarounds so if you do have some of these problems, they can actually work again. And the, actually, we'll go into one more glitch. Let's see if I can get this to happen again. We'll, we'll hit play here. It is connected. And we'll actually see, I'll hit pause. And what I want to see, because look what's missing here. I'm going to zoom in here. We're missing the, uh, the AirPods Pro menu bar icon. So that's, that would be like our sixth um, kind of glitch. Sometimes it'll come later, like maybe a couple seconds later. Sometimes it comes 10 to 20 seconds later. But as you can see, by the time that I'm talking, it should have been here by now. So if we click on here, we can actually see that it's connected. And look at that. As soon as I clicked it, it did switch over. So that's kind of like our, our sixth glitch is that the menu bar icon sometimes did not automatically switch over. So again, I hope some of these uh, troubleshooting steps will help you. Do you have it working? Are you having trouble? Let me know in the comments. I'll, I can give you a hand here. The last thing I wanted to talk about is if you try out this feature and it's not working very well for you, it's glitching out or it's just annoying and you just want to turn it off. Here's all we got to do. Go into the Bluetooth settings and then if as long as the AirPods are connected, click on the information button, go into the settings. And then what you want to do is see this says connect to this iPhone. Click that how it says automatically and click and select when last connected to this phone that turns off the automatic device switching functionality. Let's do it on the Mac now. All we need to do is go into the system preferences, click on Bluetooth, and then go into the options once we're connected. So actually, let's connect those. We'll go up to here and we'll connect the AirPods. And it should connect here in a second. Connected. Now the options button comes up. We'll click on the option button and connect to this Mac automatically to turn it off on the Mac. Click this and then select when last connected to this Mac. Click done and the feature is off. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If this video created value for you and it's something that you want to see more of in the future, including Mac OS news and Mac hardware news and how to's, click that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Hope you guys have a good day.